Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I am going to talk about flatten semi structured data function. Also, we can call it as a table function. This flatten semi structured data comes under extraction group. This is the 10th video from Snowflake SQL function reference playlist. Flatten flattens compound values into multiple rows. If you have a data like in variant column JSON data, then that will be if you want to convert that data into rows, then we have to use the flattens. Flatten is a table function that takes a variant object or array column and produces a lateral view. I will talk about the lateral view. What is the lateral view in separate video here? Lateral view is nothing but an inline view that contains correlation referring to other tables that precede it in from a from class. So lateral view is nothing but a correlation query or sub query like that. So this flatten function table function takes the input as the variance object variant object or array. These are the three data types input and produce the lateral view is nothing but a in the form of subquery or correlation query. Flatten can be used to convert semi structured data into a relational representation. As we all know that if you want to convert the JSON data into relational table, first we need to load the JSON file into table which contains the column as the variant. After that by applying the flatten table function or semi structured data function we can convert that semi structured data into relational table. We will see how that later. So, syntax here this is the syntax like you know for a, a flat and fun, a table function or semi structured data function. Flat and then input. What is the expression for that input? And these are the input is the mandatory function, and these are the other four like you know optional, path, outer recursive and mode this this is the syntax we will see the one by one uh, parameter arguments so required uh, required is the input so input para parameter is the required argument so here the expression that will be unseated into rows as i said that whatever that you are going to give as the input that will be converted into rows the expression must be of data type variant object or array as i said that say the input whatever you are going to input that input should be variant data type input data type should be variant object or array so these are the three semi structured data types optional parameters path so path is the constant expression so based on your element the path to the element within a variant data structure which needs to be flattened suppose you want to flatten the data that means convert the data into rows so what is the criteria based on your json document you can specify the one of the value as a constant i will see with we will see that example later in this video itself so can be zero length string so this path i mean if you don't want to then you can put as a zero length that means you no need to specify because this is an optional so zero length is the empty path if the outermost element is to be flattened suppose you want to uh, you know flatten at the outer outermost whatever is the outermost that you want to flatten outermost element then you no need to specify the uh, you know this path okay default is the zero length okay so please note that default if you don't provide snowflake will consider zero length string that is the empty path other option is the outer outer equal to true or false so if false any input rows that cannot be expanded either because they cannot be accessed in a path or because they have zero fields or entries are completely omitted from the output so outer it will uh, okay outer is the default is the uh, default value is the false okay we'll see if true exactly one row is generated for zero row expansions with a null in the key index and value we'll see this is the example it would, i mean this outer would be a little bit confusion so i will explain with the example 
this video as part of the demo. Default is the false. Recursive. Another parameter is recursive. If, if false, only the element referenced by path is exp expanded. So as I said that, you know, if you suppose if you specify the path and after that path, if you specify the recursive equal to then, you know, whatever that is there path till that it will be expanded. Okay. If you specify the recursive, then it, it will expand it. Not out that, you know, element you are going to specify. If it is true, the expansion is performed for all sub elements. So see with, within the path, path, you may have a sub element. So if you want to, uh, rec uh, I mean, expand them, then you put the, use the recursive true. If you put the, refer uh, um, I mean, parameter recursive equals true, the, exp the expansion is performed for all sub elements. Default is false. The other is the mode. Okay, mode is the object array or both. Okay, so you have to specify the, I mean, if you are going to use the mode, then you have to specify the what is the mode, whether it is the object and array or both. So by default value would be both. Specify whether only objects, arrays or both should be flattened. As you know that in JSON, we have a data types like, you know, object or array. So object is nothing but a hash, I mean, key fair values and array is the, I mean, you know, the one value, uh, may have a multiple so for that one value you may have a multiple values in that case we are going to uh, you know mention them in the as part of the array in even in json document we can have a array within an array also default is the both because if you want to flatten the data from the json doc document uh, json document uh, could be a mixed of uh, i mean object and arrays so that's why default would be both. We'll see the when you execute the flatten, um, uh, you know, uh, data, a uh, flatten function with the data, then what would be the output? Okay. The return rows consist of fixed set of columns. Okay. So these are the fixed set of columns. There are six fixed set of columns are there. One is the sequence, key, path, index, value, this. Okay. These are the. So what is the sequence? A unique sequence number associated, associated with the input record. The sequence is not guaranteed to be gap free or ordered in any particular way. So Snowflake is not giving the guarantee that the sequence is in order, but most cases will be seeing that in order. Okay. Key for maps or objects. Suppose if you have a, uh, you know, maps or objects, basically, then this column contains the key to expanded values path the path to the element within data structure which needs to be flattened as i said that okay so within that uh, json document where exactly which element you want to uh, flatten so that you have to specify index the index of the element if the uh, an array so you know if you have an object and an array so if you have an array in your json document then the index of the element, okay, index by using ind index column, it shows the index. If it is an array, otherwise null. Otherwise means here, I mean, uh, like object. If you have an object, then there is no uh, this index value. Only index value is available for array. Value, the value of the element of the flattened, flattened. So value could, is available uh, either for uh, array or object. Last one is this, this element being flattened. So this is the entire value. You will see the entire value uh, when you use the flatten function. Let's see same action. So example, see, we'll start with the simple example of flattening one record. Note that middle element of the array is missing here whatever i am going to show you this one okay flatten input is the mandatory parameter so this is the you know converting string into a um, parse underscore json so that uh, you know if you want to use the flatten fun uh, flatten function you have to use the because this is a uh, table function so you have to use the table keyword or lateral 
keyword i will talk about lat lateral uh, about the lateral in a separate video along with the lateral and flat, uh, flat and function again so here table function so let me execute this one here uh, this is the okay uh, you know converting this value into a document for i mean json then we'll see the how the data would be like this okay so here as i said that sequence key path index value this so sequence is the one uh, two rows are there because the other parameter is the null that's why null ignored so sequence is the key value is the null because key i mean if you have a object then we have a key here value path this is the path inside the path uh, you know path uh, index is the zero and two one is not there because it's a null so ignore that one and also please note that the path i mean index is started from the zero not from one so here if you see index zero and one is not there and two value what is the value for that one is the actual value it is i mean it's actually if you see define this is the entire that object okay so here it is in array so this are inside json document we have an array so here we have a one and undefined and 77 so undefined ignored and then other two values are displayed here this is the one example how okay and the second example examples of the effect of the path parameter we'll see the here we don't use the any path parameter now we'll use the path parameter as part of this one so slightly here changing the example here we have a two here a equal to one and b equal to within that b we have an array so let me this is the one object this this is another object within that object we have a an array so let's see here we are using the one is the outer equal to another example with path, path equal to b level we are going to extract so now let me execute the outer equal to true if you do outer equal to true then see key because this is an object correct sequence is the one key equal to a and for that path is the a and here index is there and value is the one okay and this is the value see a is the one and this is the another object two objects are there within json document okay the well, second uh, second uh, object b object having array so this is the one way so if we are flattening at the outermost now if you i don't want to outermost here i want to specific path then you can specify the path equal to whatever that b level object b now you will see what is the difference see now here earlier it was different and uh, key values are there now we have path and all this 0 and 1 77 88 okay so this is the one and uh, another example if you see here example of effect of the outer parameter we have seen here also now let me execute this one entire uh, if you do without any outer what would be the output because we have zero because here see here empty is there okay there is no out, output uh, there is no values inside that any object or array but it is the empty root element or we will call it the root so when you execute like this then it returns zero rows suppose if you use the outer is equal to true in this case example this case outer equal default value is false so we got the zero rows now if you use the outer equal to true then we'll see what would be the output see one row and this value is the one all values are null except a sequence and this because we don't have any value but we have a empty json document simply okay that is the uh, you know outermost and you will see example of effect of recursive parameter okay so recursive parameter it is optional so for example if you see here we have a three objects this is the one object this is the second object and third object within the third object we have another object within the object so let's see this one without recursive we'll execute first three objects are there uh, without recursive now what i'm going to do let me execute the with recursive equal to true here earlier three rows were there now we have a six rows because it's a recursive correct so 
uh, each uh, if you see this one c uh, output let me explain a a and this is the one and uh, b 0 1 and for c and within that c we have a d dot d element so c dot d element so this is the recursive if you want to uh, you know recursively uh, flatten or uh, uh, okay convert them into the rows then you can use the recursive so this is about the recursive now we will see another example okay here what i am going to do let me i am going to create a table for that matter i have to set the context information to my session and then here i am going to create a one table called the persons within that persons uh, i have one id column id and one is the two columns the, this person is going to have a two columns one is the id another one is the variant id is that nothing but a number or worker whatever it may be and person is the uh, you know json document so th this json we have a uh, like name contact name is the object contact is an object within that uh, co contact we have a array, the array okay business so th this business again another object business object In inside that business we have a another type okay type object is there so like that we have two rows are there let me create this table then i will describe this table so here if you see table persons successfully created now what i am going to do esc table persons see here id is the number and c is the variant column so the in, inside the variant we have a, J, a json document so this as i explained that how we are going to expand so note that multiple instances of lateral uh, uh, flatten in from class of the following example each lateral view is based on previous one to refer elements in multiple levels of arrays so as i said that these are the multiple arrays are there that's why we have to use the lateral i will explain about the lateral and combination of lateral and flattering with in another video so don't worry about for time being we just try to understand the data how i am going to use that one so here instead of the table function we can use the table keyword you can use the uh, you know lateral keyword so here uh, i'm using the path uh, you know is the contact level and within the contact we have a business is there so the expanding is the contact level i'm expand expanding and uh, from that uh, contact we have a business column is there so business and the array is there so that's why let me execute this one you will get you know, see four rows because this this is the normal id is the normal for each id we have a two type is the phone and the email so that's why we are going to we have seen here two rows for each id see first name this is the last name and for the <clears throat> this case for first record we are uh, storing the type as the phone and what is the phone number okay details is the phone number you can just details underscore phone or whatever it is whatever name so you can give it the column name and <clears throat> another one is the <clears throat> sorry email so what is the email is the email and for the second person id is the this one and his name first name and last name and uh, this is the you know uh, that contact object which we flatten at the path level this is the path okay business within that business we have a two rows are there for each id so content what is the content type is the phone and content is the this is the phone number and there is the i mean business content is the email what is that email name email is the uh, this is the so like that we have a even two ids but we have a four records because of we are uh, using the lateral flatten by using the object level uh, you know here if you go to query path level contact so within that contact we have a business suppose if you don't want to enter one and you want to only do like this then remove the f1 value and then see the, because this is the p why i'm using this one p is the uh, this <coughs> direct object only that's why we are able to 
get that data. See, we got the error. Why we got the error? Let me remove this one. This is the syntax. Okay. So we, <coughs> we didn't get four records. This time we got only two records because the flatten happen at the contact level only but business object within the contact we are just uh, we didn't do any join okay so that that is called the you know uh, correlated join or something like that that's why we, di we didn't see other two records only we got the four records so this path based on your i mean you know based on your document how uh, what is the outermost how we are going to extract that is depending on that you have to specify the this path and if you don't want then you can uh, ignore that one then you have to but if you want to properly expand your uh, json i mean you want to convert your json complete json document into relational uh, rows then you have to choose the outermost path and then pro process accordingly prepare your query accordingly yeah, that's all from this video. Thank you for watching my video. If you like this video, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Click bell icon for notification. Like it and share it to your friends. Thank you once again.